So what's up people and welcome to the chapter 57 discussion of Kaiju Hachiko or Monster Number 8. So chapter 57 came out yesterday and as always I will leave a link to this chapter that's currently being shown on the publisher's official website Manga Plus for free to the North American audience. So if you're interested yeah go take a look at it because they have started pulling the previous chapters back and eventually they will be pulling this one as well so if you're interested please go take a look at it before they do so okay so chapter 57 this is a follow-up to what has happened in chapter 56 if you recall in chapter 56 vice commander hoshna was talking with monster number 10 and the conclusion of that chapter ended with monster number 10 asking vice commander hoshna to join with him so 57 starts off to follow up with regards to that chapter. And this chapter contains a tremendous amount of comedic sort of interactions that really doesn't fall into the plot. And so I'll kind of avoid that and just focus on the plot line, which is relatively short, but quite important to this entire story. So chapter 57, it turns out that Commander Hoshna and the entire team of Division 3 minus Commander Mina has decided to come to headquarters. Now this of course triggers Division 1 because from what we find out in Chapter 57, Commander Narumi doesn't care much for Vice Commander Hoshina. Why you ask? Well, <laughs> if you really want to know, go read the chapter. It's a pretty petty sort of reason, but it doesn't stop Commander Narumi from having an issue with Vice Commander Hoshina. And in fact, there seems to be a little bit of a rift between Division 3 and Division 1. But again, that is kind of a side comedic moment in the entire chapter. And the reason Vice Commander Hoshina came to headquarters was to bring all of the divisions together for a discussion. And much of this chapter, of course, goes back into introducing many of the leaders of the other division. But once again, the plot falls into the continuation from what we see in 56. So Vice Commander Hoshina brought everybody together so that he could inform everyone with regards to what Monster Number 10 told him, which was that he was created by Monster Number 9. And this ties into the last comment that Monster Number 9 stated before he escaped, which was, I'll be back with a much greater force than they have ever seen. And when I originally heard that, I thought that maybe Monster Number 9 was going to power up or he was going to bring in a huge horde of smaller minions. But because we find out that Monster Number 10 was created by Monster Number 9 and Monster Number 10 was so powerful there is a high probability that Monster Number 9 will continue to create powerful monsters. And in fact, Monster Number 10 goes out of his way to say he was a prototype, which indicates that, of course, prototypes are usually developed so that you could eventually go into mass production, and prototypes are usually an inferior initial version of later models. And so this alarms the JDF significantly because Monster Number 10 was so hard to take down. And if stronger and more of these monsters come at a moment's notice, then the JDF may not be able to take on the invading horde. And in fact, the ending of this chapter shows that Monster Number 9 is creating such monsters. And so this, of course, foreshadows the next invasion, or at least the next Monster 9 invasion that will be coming in the future. In that, there will not only be Monster Number 9, who has significantly powered up due to Monster Number 2's powers, but also a group of monsters that may be even more powerful than Monster Number 10. So why did Hoshina inform the JDF? Well, the obvious reason is to get them aware of this so that they could start preparing for the massive invasion. But the other, of course, is what Monster Number 10 said at the end of Chapter 56, which was to join him so that they could both power up. And probably Vice Commander Hoshna knew that this was going to be met with a significant amount of resistance by the JDF. 
knowing just how powerful monster number 10 was and the risk of vice commander hoshina being overwhelmed by monster number 10's will there might have been a significant amount of resistance to those two coming together and so this may be vice commander hoshina's way of showing that if you do not do this there will not be a way of challenging the horde that eventually will come and so I think this was Vice Commander Hoshina's way of making sure that the JDF will give a green light to those two fusing together. But we do see over the past few chapters that Matsumoto Naoya is really setting up this part of the story for the upcoming battle. And once all of the foundation is laid out, then we should be in for a very interesting ride once the actual story starts. And so I'm looking forward to what happens in the future. And once chapter 58 comes out, I'll bring up another video. I hope you join me at that time. But this is the chapter 57 discussion for Kaiju Hachiko or Monster Number 8. Thank you very much for listening. And until the next episode, happy manga reading. And as always, Jai and nice day, everyone.